Okay, so today we're going to finish up our portraits. Um, if you have any lines that are going down your face or across your face, you can go ahead and erase those lines. I know, I never have you erase, but today is a new day and you're gonna go ahead and erase. This is also your opportunity that if you made any mistakes, like over here, I don't like that chin line there, I'm gonna go ahead and erase what I don't like, okay? Once you have that, I'm gonna take a black crayon. I'm gonna leave the black crayon bowl on my um, demo table, right on the corner. And you're just gonna go over your lines with black crayon. Maybe I like the other one better, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it, it does not have to be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So you can do this as I'm also doing it, so you don't have to wait. I think I'm gonna give myself kind of like an eyelid over here. It looks a little bare. Maybe some eyelashes. Not a lot, just some in the corner. Go ahead and do this with my neck. My shoulder. I'm gonna round off my bottom here. And I'm gonna go ahead and give myself my toga, scoop neck, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do these lines over here. It doesn't have to be even in the same spot. If it's similar, it's all good. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. Give it some swirls. Oh, I forgot my ears. How could I forget my ears? kind of lines that you did. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exactly in the same spot, but if you have it generally where you put it, and this again is an opportunity for you to kind of fix anything you didn't really like the first time you drew it, right? How many times do you do portraits? Not that much, I bet. And so like for example, maybe I think I might bring my hair down. I was going to just do it to one side, but I want to have more hair. I'm gonna go all the way to my shoulders. Excellent. So this, once you're done with that, you put your crayon back in the bowl, and then you're going to take this black charcoal. Okay, it is messy, so try to really only hold it with your pointer finger and your thumb, um, and not rub it all over your hand. This is also gonna be a time in which I'm gonna ask that once you start to draw, you don't wanna rest your hand on your paper, you wanna have it a little raised because then your whole arm is gonna get a little messy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline only really one side of my body and my shoulders and I'm gonna do some of the lines, maybe some right sides of my curls, okay? Maybe some right sides of my curls over here too. And then I'm gonna take my one finger and I'm gonna follow that curve up, and then I'm gonna kind of bring in a little bit. So I'm kind of creating like a shadow effect with this charcoal. It is a little messy, like I said, but that's okay. If we were seeing a sculpture in 3D, we would be seeing shadows and we would be seeing highlights on our portraits. I like how that looks so maybe what I'll do is the same thing here maybe I'll add a few more of these lines and just kind of take my finger and go with the fold okay I still have stuff to do over my hair I might add more at my hair so my hair is a little darker the only thing is you really just don't want to fill every single little space with charcoal okay I'll probably do some on my nose Go ahead and just kind of clean my finger off in some areas but I'm still not really putting it as dark over here good go ahead and do more of my hair I think this area I'm gonna go ahead and add I'm putting pressure on only one side of my charcoal stick, so I'm holding it flat but putting pressure on one side. That's going to give it kind of this fuzzy look. I'm going to go ahead and follow that curve and then gently kind of fill the space, okay? 
So that's what you can do kind of all over. Choose one side to kind of put your shadow. Be very gentle with where you're putting it. If you have any on your fingers that you don't want, you can go ahead and kind of put it on the side. I think I might go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Maybe make my pupil a little darker. And I think that looks pretty awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut around my shoulder and then I'm going to cut around my hair. Notice how you guys, just to make it not so awkward for myself, I'm rotating the paper to go around the curves. I'm not rotating my, um, my hand because once I start kind of going like this with my hand, one, it can become a little dangerous and two, it's just not very... Um, not very conducive to like the best cutting okay so I keep rotating my my paper instead of my hand and then if I need to like over here I'm going to start rotating it more okay I can always take this hand and put it on the bottom so I have more control it's all about how to control where your scissor is where your hands are definitely don't want to cut off any fingernails Wonderful. So once you have that cut out, I would say make sure to throw away your garbage in the garbage can by the door. And then we're going to be putting this piece together with your, um, with the stand that you made. And that will be kind of our finishing touches. But how cool does that look with the shadows? Also, please don't forget to put this back into this blue bowl that's also on my demo table, okay?